Hello, we're going to review the steps to set the copier to a static or a DHCP IP address. This video will outline the steps for a RICO current generation copier with a smart op panel and the emulator that will be used for this video will outline all the steps that the end user must select at the copier. So let's get started. At the copier screen here select user tools or swipe until you see user tools select that select machine features select system settings select interface settings select machine IPv4 address and from here you can select auto obtain which is DHCP or specify. When you select specify it will prompt you to enter a static IP address. To change this select change and then on the keypad type in the digits. So for example we want to change it to 192.168.001.125 you'd enter that on the keypad select the pound symbol here and now the IP address has changed and you would follow the same steps here select change enter the subnet so class A, class B, or class C and enter that with the keypad here the number keypad and select the pound symbol and that blue button there if you're going to set up a MAC reservation then ideally you want the copier set to DHCP or auto obtain once you're done select OK now select DNS configuration and you want to follow the same steps if you have a MAC reservation in place select auto obtain or DHCP if you want to specify a DNS server select specify select change and enter the numerical value or IP address here on the control panel. Once you're done, select OK, select Exit, Exit again, select the Home button, and now we recommend that you reboot the copier. Based on your setting, if you set the copier to a static IP, the copier will reboot into that static IP address. If the copier is set to DHCP, then the copier will, will Basically, talk to the DHCP server, and that address that's assigned, or the IP address, will be assigned to the copier now. And that's after the reboot. This concludes our video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.